The sophomore Harlan Beverly gets the start in Legs Place. Roger Ayers, Bill Covington Jr., Mike Roberts are officials. We tip it up. Can they push him outside the paint? Purdue drew about a million fouls on Saturday in a 68-61 win over Valparaiso. They lived at the line. Tip out into the hands of Isaiah Thompson, the sophomore point guard from Zionsville. Newman a transition three. Brandon Newman the first five for Purdue. And Kevin, right here, communication is key. Anytime you're playing transition D, that's a deep one. Do an excellent job spacing, and they want to shoot the three ball. It's a Purdue team that should go nine deep tonight. They have Eric Hunter Jr. back, the junior guard, and Valparaiso. Newman on the fine Williams, fumbled. Williams collects, and Williams scores. It's a 9-0 run for Purdue. Seven-foot-four Zach Eady, who just sent a concrete screen. And the freshman out of Toronto has the ball. Eady going to work, and Eady scores. Early on second in this game, score last season. Early on in this game, Kevin, it has been a struggle defensively for Miami. And a big reason is that right there. Right now, Purdue running some nice offense. He's 7'4", 285, and Miami has absolutely no answer for Edie right now. Yeah, really, you know, unfortunate. And certainly it starts with likes. You know, he is the guy that makes their team go. But another key player, obviously, to Wardenberg, as we take a look at finally a good offensive possession. Beverly, the sophomore, got the started point. This is Gack down the lane. Dang Gack with the drive. Here's Gack again. Brooks over E. And Brooks cans the jumper. Gack's doing a nice job fronting Williams of the post. Off the shot fake, this is Gillis who ends the scoreless drought. Gack no good on a three. The offensive rebound across. And then Beverly's pass deflected and kept alive. Eric Cutter Jr. on the step through and score. But a takeaway here. Gillis on the push ahead, Thompson. Numbers for Purdue. Williams floats it over, cross it in. He had scored nine in a row after Purdue had scored 15 in a row. McGusty ends that. Cameron McGusty to transfer from Oklahoma. All right here on Miami, Kevin has done a nice job clawing back into this game. Uh, but still problematic is that guy right there. Gillis looking for Edie down low, and Edie throws it home as Nasir Brooks has hit the deck. Points early for Edie and the rebound to Gillis off the Miami miss. Hunter banks it home, Eric Hunter Jr. on the slash. So if he's not always making movements that might seem natural to those of us who don't live in the sky, and he still has a long way to go in development. Defender right there is going to have their face right in his elbow. Here's Williams playing with two fouls. Spins around Brooks. Williams around and scores. Up, under, and in. It will be Hauser versus Hauser. The brothers Hauser played at Marquette a couple of years ago. Joey and Sam. Strong take by Beverly, who scores his first points. Williams ahead on the leak out. A rejection came from Beverly on the shot from Brandon Newman. Here's McGusty to push tempo up top, and Brooks throws it down. Knocked away from Wheeler, and here's a takeaway. Beverly on the leak out from Cross, and two fast break buckets start the half for Jim Laranaga tonight, and all eight have played. Inside oh. a bad pass, Stefanovic threw it away. Beverly's had an aggressive start to the half, and Harlan Beverly finishes two with a chance for three. Scored all eight points to kick off the half. Off another steal, Wong on the drive. Wong with a blocking foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. He and Matt Painter, two of the best at player development. And Wong, they're expecting a big year out of him away by Eric Hunter Jr. at seven of the first half Hunter Stefanovic 4-3 as he started off we talked about it as a hockey player uh, but Matt Painter saw a video of him as a pitcher as a kid and he saw this tall 
seven foot kid able to twist his body. And a rebound cleared by Harlan Beverly. Miami's only lead in this game was one nothing. A terrific back cut there, McGusty on the feed from Deng Gak. Player in the first half, he may be their best player on the night, Deng Gak. And a three point play, four rebounds, has an assist off the bench. Gillis all alone, Mason Gillis. By that time, they just forgot about a perimeter shooter. Again, great balance and execution by Purdue. Inside, Walker with a stuff on the handoff from Beverly. Recognizing Miami still continue to shoot the ball from the perimeter. And a sweep in for Miller, very good with that right hand. Juan sure. passes up the open three. And Cross finally sticks it home, his first points of the game. And they are expecting him to continue to grow under this program. And certainly with the injuries, he is going to get extended minutes. Beverly, nice cut. And Edie a little bit late to find Wong, and then he'll be called for the foul. It's a 9-2 Miami run with possession. Augusti fakes it and scores in the lane. Juan with nine of his 11 points in the second half. Edie finds an open Hunter. On the step in, the veteran Eric Hunter provides a steadying presence. The criticism he gained from playing hockey, from being a baseball pitcher, the footwork, the bend. There's Miami's first three of the game. Williams back in the game with four fouls. And he's one-on-one -on -one with Brooks. Gives it up to Cross. On the drive, the freshman Cross. He brings Miami within a three-point bucket. Augusti puts it up. No. Offensive rebound. Brooks around Williams. No. And Cross comes flying in for a one-hand tip. It's a one-point game. For a minute to go. And Beverly, who's had a brilliant second half, dribbles it out. Five to shoot. Magusti. Williams lets him go, and Magusti scores, plus a foul. Hunter. Out top, Wheeler for three. No. Rebound, Gillis puts it back, four seconds to go, and Matt Painter uses his final timeout. Mason Gillis can inbound. Gillis' pass is taken away. Harlan Beverly has the basketball and dribbles out a shocker of a comeback for Miami.